This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Ultion Euro Profile Cylinder. This lock was heavily requested by folks in the UK where this lock is marketed and sold. It comes with all the right credentials, it has the three star Kite Mark certification, and is also sold secure diamond. In addition to that, Ultion provides a 1,000 pound guarantee that this lock will not be defeated. Unfortunately, that guarantee only applies to its snap protection, which is formidable. We have two sacrificial sections to the core that can be snapped away, and if you get that far, there is active snap protection in the center section. You can also see we have quite a bit of anti-drill protection right up top. It looks like six anti-drill pins, and I suspect there is a whole bunch more on the inside. As far as picking goes, this is marketed as an 11 pin lock and you can see on this key there are indeed 11 cuts, 6 on the right and 5 on the left. But the 5 on the left are passive pins that we don't actually have to worry about when we're picking. It's relatively unusual to find passive pins in a residential lock and I suspect in cases like this they're just there to artificially inflate the number of key differs. This lock works very nicely. It is used, but still is very, very smooth. So let's see what it takes to get into this Ultion lock. Putting some tension over here on the left side, and then I am going to start searching for a binding pin. One is loose, so is two, three, four, five. Okay, six is binding very tightly. And I got a nice click out of him, he feels set. I'm now stuck behind five, so let me lift him up a bit. Got a click out of five. Stuck behind four now. Just work our way back, click out of three. Nothing on two. One is binding very tightly. Got a click there and a tiny bit of movement on the core. And back to number two. Little counter rotation. I think we got him set, but lost our false set. I got the false set back on three, and now I'm getting counter rotation on him. And we got the lock open. So I only felt two security pins, but let's take it apart, see what's inside. Maybe there are a few more that we just didn't encounter. So the fastest way to take this particular lock apart involves removing the the front section from the center section. And that's done by removing these two pins, which I've already partially taken out. Okay, once we do that, this should be able to be removed. However, I mentioned that we have active snap protection. So when I pull this front section off, the center section is going to think that this is under a snapping attack and it's going to take countermeasures. So let me show you what happens. We'll pull this off. I just heard a nice loud click. And what happened was, let's see if I can give you a good view of it here, a tiny little pin that is right here just shot down and locked the cam from this side. It can still be operated from the other side. In fact, let me show you that with the key. We can still operate it from this side. However, from this side, the core or the cam at least cannot be turned at all. The only way you can reset that is by removing the little Allen pin right here and then there's a little detent behind it. You have to take that screw out, allow the detent out, and then you'll be able to push that pin back up. But as it sits right now, there is no way to get that all the way back up. It moves just a tiny little bit. Okay, so when we remove this, you can see that one of these pinholes, it's number six, was actually capped off by the steel rod that goes into that hole. So we essentially just open that up from the top. So let's see if we can get the number six pins out of the lock. Okay, I think we've got them out. 
Let's get the pliers and put them in the correct position. It looks like we have some sort of anti-bump pin here in number six and a nice stout steel spring. The next thing we have to do is remove the C-clip that is hidden right here. Might be easier if I rotate that core just a little bit. There we go, got the clip off. Now I should just need a follower and we'll be able to take this apart. Okay, I just lost a tiny little pin right here. That was part of this cam center section. I have to be very careful in taking all of this out because I have pins on both sides. What I'm going to try to do is drop out all of the passive pins into slot number eight. And looks like I got all five of them out. We also had one more thing drop out. This little piece right here, and let me zoom in a little so you can see them. I'm not 100% sure what they do. I suspect they are steel. Let me get a magnet and check. Yep, it's definitely steel. And let's check to see if it's hardened steel. If it is hardened steel, then I suspect this is some sort of anti-drill measure. Yep, it is definitely very well hardened. Okay, so we have, it looks like two of those slugs on the bottom. That one's not coming out. Let's check the top ones. Okay, we have one of the ones on top came out. Not that one. Okay, so three of the six steel slugs came out. Okay, now let's get the key pins out of here. Standard in one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, all standard key pins, no security key pins there. And I have to say, this core is remarkable. Let's take a close look at this. We have a whole lot of drill protection. Looks like there is a half moon here on the top in front of the key pins. Then we have two anti-drill pins in between slots four and five. And then we have these four hardened slugs that go right around this area here. If we look at the bottom of it, we have two more of those hardened slugs, four anti-drill pins, and another half moon of drill protection. So a ton of drill protection in this. And one other thing I'm noticing just now is that all six of the chambers appear to have counter milling in it. Though I didn't feel that while we were picking probably because I was applying a lot of tension and I just pushed past it. Okay, let's see what we can do about getting the driver pins out now. I only felt two security pins. Okay, number one is a standard steel pin. And it looks like the spring is different from slot six. I think six is a much heavier tension steel spring and then we have a copper spring in slot one so i'm guessing number six is our bump protection we have a very deep spool in slot two another one of the weaker copper springs we have a pin with one serration in slot three and it was two and three that i felt the security pins i didn't feel them anywhere else so it'll be interesting to see if there are more Okay, we have another steel anti-drill pin in slot four, standard of course. And yet another steel anti-drill pin in slot five. Okay, let me actually go ahead and confirm that those driver pins are steel and yes, they certainly are. 
Okay, so this is a lock of extremes. Very, very easy to pick, but I don't think I have ever seen this much drill and snap protection in a core ever. Let me give you a close up of all of this. Okay, as you can see for our key pins, they are all standard. Then on the driver pins, we have standard steel pins in slots one, four, and five. We have a spool in slot two, a very deep one, a pin with one serration in slot three, and then in slot six, we have our anti-bump chamber with an extra heavy spring and that little modified standard pin, which works for bump protection. Moving over to slot seven, we have three of the six hardened steel slugs, and in slot eight, we have five passive pins. Looking at this core one more time, a remarkable core with counter milling in all six chambers. We have one, two, three, four, five, six anti-drill pins, a half moon on the top and bottom of anti-drill protection, and then six hardened slugs of steel. Just a ton of drill protection, a remarkable lock. Okay, as I said, this is a lock of extremes. For all of the great attributes this have, this has, I can't imagine myself ever trying to drill or snap this lock just because it is so easy to pick open. So while they closed the door in one area, they certainly left it open in another. That's all I have for you on this Ultion Euro Profile Cylinder. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.